Hi guys, it's Sean, and today I'll be talking to you about three ways to improve your practice of debugging. Now, who here has actually spent hours debugging? I know I have, and I'd love to give you some advice that will save you countless hours in your debugging process. Now, the first step of my piece of advice is to read the stack trace. Now, reading the stack trace is extremely important because typically when people get errors, they freak out. I know I have. I'm not nervous, Makita. You're annoyed. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Usually when I get an error, I'll start to think, oh wow, I'm really stupid, I get a little fearful, and then I sort of just procrastinate and then I go back to the problem. I don't want you to do this. The advice is really simple. Just read your stack trace. Now, what are the three most common types of errors that appear with stack traces? Well, in the language of Python, there are three of these. The first one is the attribute error. The second one is called the import error. And number three is called the index error. Now let's break down the attribute error. The attribute error focuses on accessing attributes of objects that don't actually exist in the program or in the code that you wrote. Let's use an analogy to understand this principle. Imagine that you have the object cat. Well, what are objects that actually cats have? Cats have whiskers. Cats have the attribute of meowing or the function. Cats have the attribute of fur. The cats have the attribute of four-legged. But does cat have the attribute or the method of underwater breathing? Unless you have a really rare Pokemon, then the answer is no. So, in this case, we can clearly say with confidence that you would get an attribute error. And I know that the analogy of an underwater breathing cat sounds silly, but the truth of the matter is, a lot of people will try to access variables that just aren't even defined in their code. Now the second type of error that appears really commonly is known as the import error. The root of the import error comes from two things. One, you've either tried to access a method or function that you don't actually have imported, or two, you haven't locally installed onto your device the relevant package. Now the third type of error that appears is known as the index error. Now imagine for one second that you've got a book, and that book has five pages. Well, what if you try to tell your program to access the eighth page? What's going to happen? Your code is going to get pissed. And so that is my goal. You have to make sure that you are only accessing values within either your list or your dictionary that are within range and that are actually accessible. Otherwise, you'll get an index error. Now the second piece of advice that I have for you guys is to enter a state of deep penetrative focus. Now I'm telling you that for just 20 minutes, please, please, please focus on just the one task at hand that is in front of you. Now the third tip I have for all of you is to leverage the power of community. You can either focus on your local community or on your global community. Your local community refers to the people that you work around. Now when I'm Referring to the global community, I'd recommend two types of sites for you, Stack Overflow or GitHub Issues. These are two key websites that are essential for any software developer to engage with their local community. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. If you found this information helpful, please click like on the button below and subscribe to my channel. Now, the question of the week is, what do you think is the most useful piece of information for somebody learning how to debug their code? I'll personally read through all of the comments and I'll feature it in next week's video. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.